Hi folks, it's Saturday uh, the 6th of April. My headache is gone, thankfully. Um, thank you for everyone who uh, you know, wished me well last night or yesterday. Um, yeah, after I filmed I had to go and lie down uh, and shut my eyes for half an hour because I was starting to get blurry, uh, like fuzzy in my right eye and I thought, oh no. I'm gonna get a migraine, and you know, no one at work is gonna believe that. <laughs> I'm like, I was fine at work. I don't mean I had a headache at work, but I, I get headaches quite often. Uh, they'd be like, Yeah, I'm okay at work. Oh no, I've got a migraine, can't come to the mirror. I was like, Nope. So I laid down, shut my eyes, had a nice hot shower, took some quite strong painkillers, and I was like, Okay, let's do this. And I was okay. That's fine once I got there. The meal was very nice. Uh, if you weren't with me uh, yesterday, this is for our 20th anniversary, um, work's 20th anniversary, uh, our branches, the birthday party. So we had a three course meal, uh, which was very yummy. It was so delicious, in fact, I forgot to take a picture of my pudding. I just started eating. And then it was gone, I was like, whoops. So I had a wild mushroom and gruyere tartlet for starters, which was very uh, quite garlicky though, I feel and I uh, have a feeling I smell a bit this morning. Um, and then I had a blade of beef with dauphinois potatoes and some like cabbage and bacon in a creamy sauce. And some there was some veg on the side. The veg was a bit hard. If the carrots are crunchy, I'd prefer them like raw and crunchy, not slightly warm and crunchy. I know. I don't want them like boiled to death, but they were quite hard. Um, so I have a picture of those two uh, courses which I'll pop in, um, but no, no thing of pudding. It was a dark chocolate tart with ice cream and chocolate sauce. Oh, very nice. So it was a good night. Uh, I was home by about 20 to 11. Um, yeah, it was good. I left my drinks, uh, leftover drinks vouchers with a friend of mine who was quite merry by that point. Um, but yeah, came home. Said a quick hello to Paul, he'd just gone up to read um, in bed, so I said a quick night to him and came down, had a cup of tea and just wound down a little bit. And I went to bed and then the kids woke me up at quarter past six talking to each other. And I thought it was quarter past seven, so I went, just be a bit quiet, I'm tired. And then the, the, we're still talking at sort of half past. So I went to say, look, come on. And then realised it was half past six. I was like, definitely be quiet now. <laughs> Um, yeah, they had a sleepover in Jack's room, so Tobin took his mat well, Paul took Tobin's mattress in there, and they watched a film and had the telly time up there, and he let him stay up a bit late. Um, so they had a good night, and uh, Paul didn't really have to do, you know, they, they weren't too bad, and, and, you know, faffing, staying up late, so he wasn't, like, up and down with them all night, so that was good. So, yes, I woke up a little bit tired this morning, but... I think it's just from going to bed a little bit later. I don't go to bed particularly late, so it was like, huh, what? But yes, it was a good night. It was good. I'm glad I went. Um, and it was a nice night. And remembering the uh, chap from work that uh, sadly passed away, and they've got a really strong. Um, it's like a really strong bond. I don't. Know. I don't know, but they they value. Um, you know, there's a lot of emphasis on teamwork and looking after each other and we look after, you know, if anyone in other branches is, we've had a couple of people in other branches unfortunately lose people. Uh, one lady lost her husband quite suddenly, um, well, incredibly suddenly, she came home from work and, well, the kids actually came home from school and found the dad and, you know, he just died. It was, it was, you know, awful for her. So we did a big collection there and a lot of the other branches did just, you know, to, to try and let her know we're there, you know, we'll, we'll try and help how we can. And then unfortunately a, uh, a chap at a different branch, his wife got a, a diagnosis, um, you know, it wasn't going to be long, if you know what I mean. So we did a big fundraiser and raffle and, and stuff uh, and I think she passed away a day or two after we did that and it was just so sudden and so you know not sudden in the sense of the other one but you know so so quick and so sad so they they really do value people and try and you know make sure that we know that we're there for each other sort of thing 
quite like the Yarny community. Um, I know uh, Rose from Rose Likes Crochet has had some bad news uh, at the moment, so uh, I've seen some other people on videos asking to, you know, send her thoughts or prayers or, you know, whatever, uh, whatever it is you do. Um, so I'm sending her, you know, we're thinking of you and, you know, we'll be here for whenever you're ready and you, if you need anything. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking of you, Rose. Um, so I will show you what I've done. I wanted to show you now because I don't know that I'll be able to pop back later and get much of a video done. So it might just be a quick pop on and say he's finished. Um, because kids are out with Paul at the minute, doing last minute, eat kids Kim's birthday tomorrow, better go and buy her a card, <laughs> um, stuff. <clears throat> so, I was all set to go to the wool shop, you know, our local wool shop has got a sale on today. And I told Paul, I'm going, can't stop me, I'm a grown up. Um, and he mumbled something on the lines of, yes, but I can throw it away when you get back. <sighs> I'll be doing time. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't do that. You can't do that to him. Because he threw your wool away. <laughs> I need a knitter or a crochet as my judge. I'd get away with it. Um, but yeah, we went to the library with the kids. We've been to see Paul's mum this morning. Um, and we've got a family member in hospital at the minute. It's it it returned up. Uh, we're like, oh, by the way, um, you know, Grandpops has been taken into hospital. I'm like, oh, no. Um, so we're waiting for updates on him. He's been moved to a different hospital at the minute uh, with suspected pancreatitis, so... Poor chap. Um, he had a rather bad um, appendix problem. I think it actually burst. They thought it was something else and it wasn't and it burst and he was he was really poorly a couple of years ago. He's it's the chap who shared, I share a birthday with. Um, and... Um, Sorry, neighbours making weird noise, aren't they? Um, yeah, he he was really poorly two years ago on his birth on our birthday, uh, and subsequently ended up in hospital and missed our wedding. He was that poorly, so we um, we want him to get well soon. Um, I'm doing a lot of waffling today. I do apologise, but yeah, we took the kids to the library this afternoon, and then I bumped into my friend, uh, my best friend who was who walked me down the aisle at our wedding, and. Um, Lots of cuddles and talking in the library. <laughs> I had a lovely chat with her and we've arranged to go out because both of our birthdays are in April so we're going to go out in between and um, I'm off with the kids then so I might actually go and have a grown up night and not drive and come home a little bit piddled. You never know. <laughs> that could be an interesting vlog the day after. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, and the boys went off with Paul, we took both cars so I could go to the wool shop and Paul could go and get me birthday cards and stuff. And I had to go and do the glamorous, you know, go buy toilet roll and kitchen towel and stuff. And I was like, you know what, I don't really think I can be bothered. So I passed up a chance to go to the wool shop all on my own. I don't know. It, it doesn't shop me on, it doesn't stop me online shopping, does it? Anyway, really going to show you what I'm working on. Jeez, I'm so sorry. Nine minutes. Rah, 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 rah. Here he is. Isn't he cute? He just needs his horns and a few more purple dots sewing on him. Look at his little face. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, look, he's got my hair. <laughs> he's a perfect shape. There you go. That's what Silly looks like with a quid. Isn't he so cute? And I had him sat next to Mike. I've taken some pictures with him without his um, horns, just sat next to each other. Look how cute they are together! Oh my word! <sighs> Crochet patterns should make you make those noises. Whoops, Mike's gone. And he's so cute. Look at this. Oh, he's so cute. So I'm going to give him horns now, and um, I just pulled out some yellow because that's what it says to use on the pattern. So I'm going to do that. Um, Getting finished, and then I'll pop on a quick, uh, pop on quickly to just say he's finished, or I'll just pop a finished picture in, either one. And then I need to pick what I'm going to start on next. I I got some carpet crochet done earlier, so I did um, shawl. Worked on my vet shawl, and I took my Baram U bag, Rue Crew crochet avec moi. 
still makes me giggle. I got this from um, Angela uh, from Yarn and Yarns. She's got a YouTube channel here on YouTube, strangely enough, um, and she's got a yarn shop in Wales, in the UK. Um, I'll link to her channel below. I don't know if she's got any more of these bags. I know she had sold out at one point because there's a knitting one as well. Can't think what that is, but it's like a, a not well, yeah, a pun or, or a, I can't think what it is. It's really annoying. Well, I can't think what it is. I don't know, but um, yeah, go check her out. Um, and if you're interested, she may have some of these. Perhaps get in touch. She's got an Instagram account as well, so I'll pop that below. Uh, get in touch, maybe see if they've got any more of these. Uh, it was a really decent price, and she posted it out. I think I think she posted it the same day. And it's perfect size, I've got my shawl in there, and what's left of my cake, and yeah. Uh oh, pulling the boys about. So I better leave it here. I have pulled the winners for the pattern codes for Crochet with Lear for the Remy the Chef. So I will insert that on the end of here. Uh, I may have to do some cutting up, because Tobin came in the room while I was doing it, then Paul shouted at Tobin while I was in the room doing it. So it may be a bit choppy. It may end up as stills um, with no audio on it. But the five people will be listed below this video as well. Congratulations to you. Um, I did want to write them down but had no paper. And that was half of my discussion with Tobin while I was trying to pull it and film on my phone. It didn't go very smoothly. I should have done it more professionally. But I've pulled the names now. So they'll be below. Congratulations to the winner. Thank you again to Leah from Crochet with Leah for letting me review the pattern and for giving me the free pattern codes. Um, really appreciate it. So I'm going to go before I get um, bombarded. Hello. Hello, the boys are back. Better go before Paul gets here. So I will talk to you later or I'll just pop in finished pictures and the winner's details will be next and below. Bye guys. <laughs>
Okay, need to pick another one. Rowan's Impressions. I think I would make the shoes blue. Brilliant. Get in touch and you can make your own. I'll send you a copy of the um, code you need to download the pattern. And the last one. Jenny's Crochet Zone. Yay, Jenny! <laughs> so get in touch and I will um, send you the code so you can get a copy. And you put that so cute. That is so cute. Shoes would be purple. It's Jean-Luc's favourite colour. Well, tell Jean-Luc he's just won you a, a copy of the pattern. Okay, I'll put this into my normal video for today. Bye, guys.